Now, your news on the go. Welcome back. Syracuse police had their hands full this Christmas. The city investigating a deadly shooting before the new year. Just before 9 o'clock Christmas Eve, officers responded to the 600 block of Richmond Avenue for a shooting with injuries. Here they found a 19-year-old man behind a house who had been shot in the upper body. He was taken to Upstate Hospital where he was pronounced dead. As of this morning, the victim's identity has not been released. Down the throughway, more than a dozen people are dead. Thousands still without power as Buffalo just barely begins to dig out from under four feet of snow after a deadly blizzard blasted across western New York. As of this morning, at least 18 people are confirmed dead, 11 in the city of Buffalo alone. The Erie County executive says he's been in communication with the White House about a federal disaster declaration. The National Guard has been deployed to western New York with an additional 200 soldiers expected to hit the ground today. At last check, more than 12,000 National Grid customers in Buffalo are still without power. To put in perspective how dire conditions are, all Wegmans in both Erie and Niagara counties have been closed since Friday and will not open today. Tops also saying it will not open stores this morning in Erie County. And if you're thinking about doing any type of travel today, right now parts of the state throughway remain closed. No cars are allowed starting at exit 46 near Rochester and Henrietta to the Pennsylvania border. The same goes for the Niagara Thruway. It's unclear when roads will reopen. As for air travel, the Buffalo Airport will stay closed until 11 a.m. tomorrow. As of yesterday, this is what the runway looked at looked like at the airport. At the Niagara Frontier Transportation Authority says it will stay closed due to high winds and low visibility. As for the Niagara Fall International Airport, that reopened last night. And it's not just Buffalo that's having trouble getting off the ground here in Syracuse. Two flights have already been canceled for the day. A JetBlue flight to New York and a Southwest flight to Baltimore. They join the growing list of more than 1,100 flight cancellations across the country. If you're looking to fill up this morning, good news on the gas front. The average for a gallon of gas in Syracuse, 341 today. That's down 33 cents from a month ago and a nickel less than what we were paying last year. Compared to the national average of 310, we're still about 30 cents higher.